Okay, we're up against Hidetsugu and Kairi, and I think we're going to keep this. We don't have a Black Source, but we have it in our Mirror Convert and Arcane Signet. If we didn't have the Arcane Signet, I probably wouldn't have kept this. Because the Mirror Convert can easily die to some form of removal that they have. Or that they might have. And there we go. We draw our Black Source, so that's good. We're going to play Mirror Convert first. And then we're probably going to play Arcane Signet. So, Hidetsugu and Kairi... I know in the Historic Brawl version, there's a combo where you can just keep looping Hidetsugu and Kairi with uh, spells that bring them back from the graveyard. And then they ETB, then they trigger, then you can sacrifice them if you have a sacrifice outlet. And so on and so forth, you can keep looping that. Uh, I'm not so sure how it works in Standard Brawl, so we'll see how our buddy Jabaker79 has built it. So it keeps two black and a blue open. I think I'm going to play it safe here. I'm just going to play the Arcane Signet into uh, Lord Skitter's Blessing. And just go from there. They might have a removal spell. Oh, Siphon Insight. Okay. I wonder what they got. They picked that really quick. Shieldred. Okay, that's their shielded. It's not ours, because our card is still right here on top of their head. Um, oh, go for the throat. Look at that. Go for the throat works. Um, yeah, let's just play go for the throat. Kill the shielded. Can't lose that much life. That's fine. No big deal there. Um, can I attempt to play Rowan here? I'm not going to swing, obviously. The Bank Buster will block it. Hopefully they don't remove it, but they're in removal colors for sure. So they're just going to play Hidetsugu and Kairi. Draw three cards, put two on top. And so when this dies, they exile the top card of their library, and we lose life equal to the mana value. If it's an instant or sorcery, we may cast that they may cast it without playing its mana cost. Um Okay, so here's a little funny play for you guys. So they just brainstormed, right? They're gonna they put two cards on top of their library. So we're gonna take the two cards. We're gonna actually activate Rowan first. For one black. Please exile those two cards you put on top. They're not going to like this too much. <laughs> Hopefully they don't scoop before we see what it is. Oh, look. Oh, so they're doing the same thing as they do in Historic Brawl. They want to return Hidetsugu and Kairi back from the graveyard to the battlefield with stuff like no one left behind. And that's how it is. All right, let's play Cruelty of Gix. Let's look at their hand. We're just going to play it on the first one. Because I doubt they have enchantment removal in their hand. Oh, look at this hand. Very nice, very nice. Don't oops me. And we can play the Decadent Dragon. He's got plenty of mana for the Meat Hook Massacre. And I'm going to big score. Get rid of the Plaza of Heroes. And you know what? Let's play the Bank Buster. That way, if they try to have us sacrifice a creature, we can always just sacrifice the Bank Buster if we really need to. And yeah, we're going to call a turn right there. That was a really sweet turn. That was a great. So they have enough to Meat Hook Massacre the whole board. We have the left, uh, no one left behind, so we can just bring back Rowan from the graveyard. Two. Oh, they're just going to kill Rowan in the Mirror Convert. Okay. I guess that's fine. Oh, my goodness. I did that by accident. I meant to leave Rowan in the graveyard. That's my fault. Sometimes you be clicking so fast. Alright, so they killed our decadent dragon. Search our library for a card, put it into our hand. What can we possibly go get that would really hurt them? Probably Shieldred. So they have the Shieldred's Edict. Uh, we could get the Shieldred, but. I think Breach the Multiverse might be better. 
Yeah. Let's do that. Let's breach the multiverse, baby. Okay, I'm gonna bring back I'm gonna bring the tyrant of Curridges out. And I'm going to bring Shieldred out. Yeah, let's just do Shieldred. I don't want to bring back their their actual like flip Shieldred. Just because uh if we flip their Shieldred, then it goes to them. It's just not what we want. What is it? Ooh, it's a fairy. That was costly. Yeah, we'll do this. We'll crew it. Do some damage. Crew the bank buster, do some damage, and pass turn. So they don't have a sack outlet yet. We have Shieldred as a blocker. They can play the Shieldred's Edict to make a sacrifice. One of our creatures? Oh, wow. They play their own Breach the Multiverse. Oh boy. They actually hit our Shieldred too, which is funny. We both hit our Shieldred's on uh, the Breach the Multiverse. So, I'm gonna get rid of the Tyrant of Courages. I can bring it back with the No One Left Behind, and I can also bring it back with the Cruelty of Gix. I need the life gain from Shieldred though. All right, let's bring back the Tyrant of Courages. We're gonna destroy the Haughty Jin. Four damage to the Haughty Jin. And I kind of want to play the Flesh Gorger. This is a 7-5 with Life Link, Medicine Life Link. Let's play the Phyrexian Flesh Gorger. It has the ward pay life equal to the Phyrexian Flesh Gorger's power. So they'll have to, if they want to target it, they'll have to pay 7 life. And we gain that 7 life off the ward cost, which is kind of cool, actually. We're not going to attack. Now, if they flip Shieldred, we get the flip. Don't know if they know that, because that's our Shieldred. So I hope they do that, and it's going to be hilarious. Shieldred's Edict, so we'll crew, crew the Shieldred here. Sacrifice the Bank Buster. Oh, they did it. Well, opponent didn't realize that. <laughs> Only reason I know that is because I've done that. You gotta read the card. The card says, Exile Shieldred, then return it to the battlefield. Transform under its owner's control. We are the owner, so it, tra it gets transformed under our control. It is a lesson learned, guys. Remember that, please, when you're playing your games. Ooh, GG's. Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. It's Gnome here, and today we're checking out Rowan, Scion of War, but this is Standard Brawl. Hopefully you guys realized that in the thumbnail. This deck is really sweet in Standard Brawl. There's not as many cards to make us lose or pay life as in something like Historic Brawl, but there's less removal in the format, so Rowan sticks around a lot more. That being said, people do still want to remove Rowan, of course, but nonetheless, if Rowan gets to stick around, it could be a good time. Now, granted, you do have to have stuff like Staff of Completion or Phyrexian Arena out to really take advantage of Rowan's life loss ability. But sometimes we don't even need Rowan out. That's how good our deck flows. One thing that isn't in here, and I realized this on the very last game, is we don't have any board wipes. We have Mihook Massacre and that is it. And you'll see in the last game, I kind of give up and then I'm like, I'm just going to play it out and see what happens. Regardless, this deck is a lot of fun and you're just looking to pay life. The thing that this has over my historic brawl version of this deck is this has a lot more life gain because we don't want to be losing a lot of life if we're low on life. So this has a lot of life gain, which you're going to absolutely need in a deck like this. It's just a lot of fun. A couple cards that I want to highlight. Tavern Swindler is a two mana 2-2 two -two that says tap, pay three life, flip a coin. If you win the flip, you gain six life. So regardless, you either lose a life and you gain six life or you lose a life and you, nothing happens. So it's just a really good synergistic card with Rowan uh, when we want to lose life anyway. Phyrexian Arena, you can lose life at the beginning of your turn and staff of completion, you can lose life whenever. So it's just good synergy for Rowan. So another is Mirror Convert. We can pay two life and add a mana. So that's like three mana essentially for Rowan. Just really solid synergies in our deck and um 
The only thing is Standard Brawl doesn't have is like really solid finishers. So the finishers that we have is Song of Totenaz. This can be our finisher if we have enough mana to sink into it. Or Breach the Multiverse, Phyrexian Flesh Gorger, Tyrant of Courages, and Vraska Betrayal Sting. These are pseudo finishers, but yeah, there's not like a crazy finisher like Torment of Hellfire and something like standard so yeah that's the gist of the deck man i hope you guys enjoy this let me know if you guys like the standard brawl stuff man i'm really trying to gauge how the audience is doing with it so hit the like button comment down below if you like it and hit the subscribe button and watch my historic brawl version of rowan i really appreciate it so without further ado let's get right into it and let's see how the deck does shall we uh let's mulligan at least we go first i guess it's not all bad uh let's mulligan this too this is a little bit better throw back the sanguine spy Got the mirror convert for a red source. Yeah, Tali. If we can't counter it, it just makes for it. Like they just run over with the game. <sighs> of course. Of course. Blow up our mana dork. No, it's just it's just annoying, man. Uh, playing against some of these commanders, Atraxa, Itali, these ETB cards that you can't stop unless you're playing blue. It's like as much as I love blue, I gotta have a channel with variety. I could expensive taste. I could Lord Skitter's blessing. Yeah, let's Lord Skitter's blessing. Let's just do the thing. We kind of need to draw land, so I'm kind of. I'm in that spot where, like, the Skitter's Blessing is good, because I need to start drawing. I can just draw some extra stuff. Alright, Blighted Burgeoning. There we go. Drew our land. Boom. Let's play Rowan. They might just run out the Chandra here. Destroy Rowan and maybe one of the battles. I was hoping probably, or probably they wouldn't, but, you know what, it's my fault, it's my fault that, it's my fault that Rowan just died for no reason, alright let's do this, get some more land, Okay, they transfer the incubator token, but it's after combat, so they have to wait till next turn to swing with it. Let's play this force here. Let's play Decadent Dragon. And then we'll pass the turn. So I'm assuming Itali's coming down now. Ooh, that's makes me want to kill it. Oh, that's an artifact. I can't kill it. Okay. Never mind. Yeah, you gotta remember that about Go for the Throat. It's non-artifact. Alright, so... Let's play the Demolition Field. Yeah, let's just play the Cruelty of Gigs. Just play it on the first chapter. Tyrant Axe Rex. Uh, yeah, I'm just gonna swing. Make the treasure. Hopefully they don't hit nothing too crazy with Itali. Oh, Cityscape Leveler. Oh my goodness, and Flesh, Frexian and Flesh Gorger. Yay. Yeah, there's no point, we just lose. You can't outvalue that, man. You just can't. If you're not playing counter spells, or you can't get around Itali. Am I not running board wipes on this deck? Medic Massacre. That is the only board wipe I have. I could breach the multiverse, but Chandra's not big enough to hit anything here. And we really don't have anything in our graveyard that we want to get. It's just not that good. Medic Massacre, four, five, six, seven, eight. 
So I can only Mihawk Mi Mi Massacre for six. I mean, I Massacre for seven, actually. That would get rid of Itali and Flesh Gorger, but. Let's just see. Let's just see what I get with Breach the, with Breach the Multiverse. Oh, I didn't even hit nothing in my graveyard. Ooh, that sucks. That sucks big time. Well, we can destroy the leveler. Put a shield counter on Titan here. And we go from there. If they try to, I mean, I don't know. If they if they try to flippy tolly, then I guess we can go for the throat. So they just waste a ton of mana there. Still don't think we have this. Not when they can just play the Cityscape Leveler, unearth, and destroy something. I swing with the Flesh Gorger, we can double block and maybe get rid of it. We lose the, the shield the shield counter on the Titan. And there's that. Tyranax Rex. Our graveyard doesn't have nothing. We want something from their graveyard. So it's either Cityscape Leveler or Tyranax Rex. Which I can blow up the Mirror Convert. I feel like the Rex would be better. Yeah, let's get the Rex. Get the Mirror X. Let's play Invasion of Asgul. Oh, I thought they were gonna... I thought they were gonna actually get rid of the other thing. Alright. That's a zero, let's proliferate. Oh, you know what, I should've actually swung first before... before proliferating. Cause I could've proliferated the poison. A breach. Branch will besage you. You know what, maybe I should've took their... Escape leveler. Oh, come on. Okay, they didn't hit anything off of ours. They hit Mega Masker, but. Coggle and Idaro, come on. Gains a life, so now we, we're in a tough spot. Yeah, we are in a tough spot. So we can do this, get rid of the branch, swing here. They're not gonna block, right? They can't they can't play Cityscape Leveler and Itali and Transform Itali, so. It's Rowan. I'm actually am gonna make this an equipment and then put this on Rowan. Make it a 7-5, make it a little bit bigger. And I'm gonna do this. Eight, seven, that's... Yeah, let's blow this up so we can't make the extra tokens. I don't know how we're gonna get out of this. I think we lose. Play Cityscape Leveler. Yeah. They get a buff from the Glorious Sunrise. So we play Cityscape Leveler, blow up Rowan, swings in with everything, and then we lose. Because they get a buff from the enchantment. I don't want to highlight anything though because he's gonna see me looking. What? Opponent just missed the win there. They could have won. They could have won there. Okay, so we're not gonna block because he just swings at our planeswalker. Your day will come. Flesh and I guess we win. Opponent could have won there actually if he would have realized what he had. Play the cityscape leveler, blow up Rowan. And then he gets the buff from the Glorious Sunrise creatures you control, get plus one, plus one. We have nothing to block with. Swings with a three, a seven, actually a four, an eight, and a nine. So that would have been game. Wow. GG's. Yeah. Nothing we could do there. Opponent just did the most annoying thing. Playing against Atrox is the most miserable experience I think I've ever had to play in Magic. This is worse than playing Counterspell Tribal. Bye! Somebody just followed me.